Hi, Doug. Thank you so much for, for joining me today and for sharing something of your story. Why don't you just tell us who you are and what you're doing now? Oh, hello, everybody. It's really great to be with you. Uh, my name is Doug, uh, Doug Waller. I'm the lead pastor at Woodbridge Key Church, uh, which is about 20 minutes away from Ipswich. It's in, in rural Suffolk. Uh, yes, that's where I am now. Brilliant. And, and what's, your, what's your connection with CBC? You left here a few years ago now. Yeah, so I, I studied uh, at the University of Kent um, and uh, studied RE. Um, there's not really a lot you can do with an RE degree apart from become an RE teacher. Um, so I then studied at Christchurch. So I went from University of Kent to then Christchurch University where I did PGCE. Um, I then trained up as a teacher and then uh, my first teaching posts uh, were in Maidstone and then in Dover. Um, and during that time, uh, me and my wife, well, well, she was my wife at the time, but um, uh, we got married um, in between me and my wife, Charlie. And then we settled at Canterbury Baptist Church. Um, that was the church we started married life in. Um, and then towards the end uh, of my time um, of teaching, uh, I felt the call to, to ministry. And Canterbury Baptist Church were really kind enough to let me serve as their ministry in training uh, for three years. So I was the, mm. the in, I think I was the third incarnation of a minister in training at, uh, at um, CBC. I think you're on your fifth now. So uh, I'm in, I'm the one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and when you, when you went to when you went to uni, did you have any any expectation or inkling that you might move into ministry? Was did it take you by surprise? Uh, not not at all, uh, to be perfectly honest. So when I started university, um, I'd, I'd say I wasn't a Christian. I, I completely drifted away from church. Um, and it was only in uh, my third year at university uh, where I gave my life to Christ. Um, so, so actually, it wasn't really on the radar at all. Um, so when I started teaching, you know, it, was a, it wasn't something that I was thinking that I was going to end up doing. Um, but it was just during my time uh, at, when we started to come to CBC, I got given a number of opportunities and, and we started to sense both Charlie and I that, that God may be uh, calling me into Christian ministry. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I never went into, I never kept, when I came to Canterbury, I had no idea that, you know, uh, 12 years later, that this would be where I am. <laughs> Amazing. For some people, discerning, discerning their call from God is, is a, a difficult thing. Perhaps mm. some people might not quite know where to start in discerning a call. Um, and it might not be to, you know, Baptist ministry. It could be just to serving him in, in other ways. Yes. Do, you, do you have any advice for, for people who are seeking to discern God's voice and God's call in their life? How, how do you go about doing that? So, so I suppose for me... Um... A lot of it is, a lot of discernment came from seeking the counsel of the saints. So actually speaking to people and seeing what they think within the church. Mm. Um, so take, for example, um, in just kind of exploring the gift of preaching. Um, so Dave Steadman, who, who was the senior pastor at, at CBC at the time, uh, did a preaching class and um, I saw it advertised in the bulletin and uh, I thought, you know, I, I, I'm quite interested in doing something like that. You know, as a teacher, I was used to standing up in front of people yeah. uh, and, do, and giving RE lessons and things like that. So I thought, oh, you know, I'm quite interested in having a go at that. Um, but there was a part of me that because of the life that I had lived before I'd come to Christ, I thought, well, you know, why, why would anyone want to listen to me? Because, you know, I've, I've done some rent. <laughs> dreadful <laughs> in the course of my life you know what authority uh, do i have to to tell people how they should be following jesus sure and uh, and so i kind of i kind of sat on it and I, I was i was thinking about it and um just one night i was in bed with charlie and um she just mentioned oh you know i've seen that there's this preaching class in the bulletin you know do you think you'd do it um and i, I kind of said well you know um, I was interested when I saw it advertised, but, you know, just because of what I've been through in my life, you know, I don't feel that I can tell people how they should follow Jesus. Um, and she said, well, actually, I think that gives you perfectly good 
um, you know, qualities in order to tell people how they can follow Jesus, because you've been through this, you've lived uh, this life. And actually that gives some of what you're, you're saying a real sense of um, perspective. Um, and so from her encouragement, uh, I went along uh, to the preaching class. It was there that I discovered that I had a gifting in preaching. And uh, I suppose it was then from there that I then began to feel this call to ministry. So I think it's, it's a case of obviously seeing how things sit with yourself, um, but also getting the wisdom uh, of those around you from within the church. Yeah. Um, like Andrew said, not everyone's going to be a minister, um, but it might be that God is calling you to serve him in particular ways. And actually, you just need to have a chat with, with a good Christian friend who can maybe speak some wisdom into your life. Very good. Thank you. The important lesson that, isn't it? Because there, there will be people out there who maybe don't, don't explore a call because they don't feel worthy or good enough. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I still don't feel, feel worthy enough to be doing what <laughs> I'm doing, but uh, <laughs> it's nice to have had that encouragement. <laughs> so uh, just, just finally, Doug, talking a little bit about, you talked about preaching, the gift of preaching and teaching. Um, just thinking about spiritual gifts. Have you, have you discerned spiritual gifts for yourself? And, and again, how have you gone about, gone about doing that? So, so with, say, for example, the, the gift of, of preaching and teaching, um, it was going along to that preaching class and being allowed opportunities to explore whether or not I did have a gifting. Uh, so sometimes it, it's actually just having, having a go and seeing if there is a gifting there. Um, and it was from doing that that we, you know, Dave encouraged me that he felt that there was a, a gifting uh, in preaching. And then I was allowed further opportunities um, to just test that gift in the church, because it's all right. A small group of people saying, oh, you know, you're gifted in preaching. Uh, but actually, it says a lot more when there is actually fruit from that gift. Um, so um, I was allowed opportunities and I went and preached at Aylsham, the um, Canterbury Baptist Church has got a lot of um, relationships with. Um, so I was allowed an opportunity to go there and preach from time to time. I preached at the CUs. And it was just testing whether or not there was a gifting there. So I think discerning the gift is actually to test as well. Yeah. Um, and then as my ministry has developed and as it's opened up, you know, there, there have been other um, giftings that um, I feel that the Lord has given me, like, like having the gift of faith. Um, you know, we, we don't think of faith as a gift. Um, but actually, it, it really is to, to have this complete overwhelming trust that, that God is going to pull through. Um, so I believe that God has given me the gift of faith, but that has been worn out uh, through experience over time in putting trust in him, in putting my faith in him. He's been tremendously faithful and steadfast. Mm. But equally, I, I believe that I've been given the gift of encouragement. And, and how do you know that you have the gift of encouragement? Well, you know you have the gift of encouragement when you try to encourage and you pull alongside people. Yeah. Um, so I would say in discerning your gift, it, it's almost, it, it's seeing, it's practicing those giftings uh, uh, is one of those things. But it's also a bit like what I was saying with, with Charlie helping me, is also to see what other people see in you, what other gift, what giftings people see in you from those around you. Um, you know, Andrew and I were talking before we started recording this, that if you go, you go through scripture, uh, there, are, there are lots of lists of different kinds of gifts that the Lord equips his people with. Um, and, and it might be that as you look through those lists, you think, oh, actually, there are some that stick out that you think, you know, I'm quite good at that. And it might be that you then say to somebody, well, do you think that this is an area that, I'm in, that I have a gifting in? Um, so sometimes getting the wisdom of those around you can be really really helpful that's great <clears throat> Doug thank you so much for your time and um love to the family and thank God you, bless Doug. you in in your ministry to at Woodbridge really appreciate the time you've given today thank you mate it's really been good to be with you too blessings to all at CBC we miss you we love you uh, and we we continue to pray for you thanks so much